Today we are working on Jasper Active Word Lesson 3, the fourth assignment using the Format Painter. So this is the document you should have opened up. We have three steps to complete. With the Staff Agenda, which is, you click up here, you see Staff Agenda Simple Format. With that opened up, below the December 7th heading, select the list of items from current status to the end of open session. So current status to the end of open session. On the ruler, drag the left indent marker to one inch. So here's your left indent marker. We're going to drag that to one inch. Select the revenues and upcoming business items. Below environmental consulting. On the ruler tab, drag the left indent marker to the right to 1.5. With the two items, revenue and upcoming business, still selected, on the home tab in the clipboard group, click Format Painter. Select the line Strengths and Weaknesses. And you can see that the indenting has changed to be the same as the revenues paragraph because we painted what was on these to that. Click anywhere in the current status line. And on the home tab in the clipboard group, double click Format Painter. Starting from Vision for the Future, click and drag down to select the text from this point to the end of Opportunities. So vision for the future down to opportunities. The indenting will be the same as the current st uh, status, which was one inches. You did not, you did not need to double click the format painter to complete the last step as the text was continuous. However, by double clicking the format painter to keep it active, you ensure it's still available to apply to other pieces of text in the document. In our case, it was only for this selection. Click format painter to turn it off. Mark that as answered. Open the sample will from your resources. File, open, and go to your resources file, sample will. Press control H. And that's going to display the replace dialog box. Delete any text in the find what. I don't have any. <clears throat> Click the more button. Click format. And then font. Change the font color to red. There's your font color. Change that to red. And click OK. Click in the replace with field. Click Format, click Font, and change the font color to green, and then click OK. So you're about to replace any text that displays in red with the identical text in the color we specified, which was green. And this way you can use Find and Replace to format text. Click Replace All. Word makes 32 replacements. Click OK to close the message box, then close the Find and Replace dialog box. The color of the title, your name, in red, change to green. Note that while this process is faster, it does presume that you want to replace all occurrences of a specific formatting with another set of formatting. You may prefer this method to finding each occurrence and deciding whether to replace each occurrence. In some instances, however, you may prefer to use the Format Painter to control which text is changed versus performing a global change. Each method offers specific advantages, so there are times you'll use one, there are times you'll use the other. 
So let's submit this. Hopefully we'll have three green checks. And we do. So this completes using the Format Painter.